you three reasons why you should erase all your information from 23andMe or Ancestry, or if you have ever spit in a tube and send it to a company somewhere else to get your data analyzed and given you so many great insights on your risk in different chronic diseases and your health and your ancestry and where you come from and who might you have as family, etc. etc. These are all great valuable insights, but why you should now just go ahead, download and erase. First of all, I've done myself and I have to confess, I got triggered to do it, not before and until I actually saw 23andMe went bankrupt and I was like, what was going to happen with the data? If you've ever spit in a tube and send your information somewhere, before you even watch the video, go ahead, pause it, you can watch it later, pause it, ask to download because when you go, at least in 23andMe, when you go and ask to download your information, it takes a couple days or sometimes 24 hours to 48 hours. So you have to go do that. And then remember, you get an email and in that email, you're going to download the reports, every single report for your ancestry, your like the summary, like the risk for diseases, their raw data they got from you, everything. And um, when you download all that, then you can go ahead and erase the account, erase every single thing they have and back up and everything. And I'm going to show you why this is important for you as an individual and what would be the risks that very few people are actually considering. Them. So we have to start with the premise that this information is there right now. It's private, but who knows who can acquire it or who knows who can illegally access it. And imagine who one of the institutions that is the most interested in accessing this information, the biggest and highest bidder for this information would be health insurance companies and even other kinds of companies. But health insurance companies could use this information to actually calculate in a more accurate way or make your uh, health insurance way more expensive if you have a specific gene that makes you a higher risk to have a disease that it would be very costly to maintain well, like buy this insurance afterwards. So this is one of the main reasons. The other one is the one that I find the most scary and important is law enforcement. So I don't know where you live right now. I don't know what your context is. And I don't know who could get access to this information. But whatever is currently legal could change any time. The laws change every time. Like a version has been banned and then approved and it changed. So a lot of things can change. Would you be willing to give like this, all your background information, but also your DNA? So the government of, you name it, Russia, China, US, whoever you trust today, would you be willing to give them your DNA into a database so they could track you if they needed to at any time? Because your DNA gets dropped by your hair falling, by your nail, by your skin falling, like it's everywhere. So. Would you be comfortable with that? If the answer to that question is no, then I would really encourage you to go ahead and delete your information because whatever is in there, it's still in risk to be acquired or accessed by anyone. That is the most scary. And I don't want to go deep dive into the dystopia. What could happen if whole governments or any government would have access to all our DNA information and background and stuff? And if laws change and how can they pers prosecute you in one way or another one? So yeah, I think that, that I could rest my case there, but there's more reasons. <laughs> this little research I made, it's dramatizing a little bit, but one of the things could be commercial exploitation, like they sell your data and with your data, the aggregated data of a lot of people, they can do something and then you have never heard for this, but you don't know what they could be building. So with your data, it's not about nobody's paying you for this, you paid for it, but like they could build something that could be harmful for someone like you. So if suddenly, um, this is just a theory, but it could be like, oh, we're going to build a bio weapon that is actually going to target people from this type of genetics. And it's only going to affect these people. And your genetical information helped to develop this kind of virus or whatever. So that would be a risk. It's theoretical. I have no idea. Please comment <laughs> if you think if you have any knowledge around it and if you think it's possible or not. The other one is uh, identity theft. I don't really know how that could work and happen, but apparently it's an actual risk. There's other ones. Let me go and check what I have you here. And of course, future unknown uses, right? We have data breaches, identity theft, and um, yeah, the commercial exploitation we discussed. Uh, whatever, we have no idea. AI is moving so fast. We have no idea how in how many ways your DNA information could be used and how much could it put you at risk. So 
only the ones, the reasons we already know are pretty risky in my perspective. So it was worth for me to take the time and go and like click the buttons to request my data because the data is actually very valuable. Like I'm happy that I paid for it and I got so much insight. I got the risk for breast cancer. I guess I got a lot of different things that I think is not only going to be valuable right now, but maybe in the future, but it has not changed anything of what I do or like anything yet. But the risk for it to be a um, harmful thing for my person in the future was too high. So I keep my information, I keep the value that it brought to me, and I can erase it and try to stay safe. And even if I erase it, like just correct me in the comment section, I'm not even sure if it's going to be totally erased if it was once in the cloud, right? It's most likely stored somewhere in one way and encrypted. And so, <sighs> I'm just trying to be realistic, but what do you know about this? Please comment section. And I'm going to be sharing, subscribe, of course, and I'm going to be sharing all tips and tricks and things and how to stay safe um, and all the risks around AI, but how to use AI in a smart, safe way for you personally in your personal life and at work with your company, if you have your own company or you work for someone else. So stay tuned for that.